bright and sunny morning here in Subnautica. Grab our morning cup of joe. Now, I'm going to warn you, this episode will have spoilers. So if you don't want spoilers, you maybe stop watching right now. So we're going to have our morning cup of joe. And again, there will be spoilers. If you don't want spoilers, you should stop watching now. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to show you how to use a tuft of grass and my favorite reference point that above water tube over here to find the floating island. So we're going to come over here. Right now, before we go there, I'm going to take off my compass. Oh, shoot. I hate that when I do that. Press the B to exit. <laughs> and it exits us up. So, here we are at my favorite above water reference point. Famous above water tube and as you can see we've got our pod between us and the aurora at way off in the distance and the reference point we're going to be using is this tuft of grass right here and this shell plate right here. This one right here I'm pointing at right here. So what you want to do, back up a little bit, and give yourself a little room. Altitude helps. And you want to scoot your sub up so that that shell plate and that tuft of grass and your pointer are all lined up. And you will be pretty darn close to southwest right now. So throw our compass back on. And you will see we're pretty close to southwest. And I will show you where we're going. If if you've got a later uh, you, if you've already got the, the radio message, you will have a beacon in your PDA. Move over to our beacons and you will have a rendezvous point dry land this guy right here so we'll turn that on and as you can see that sucker is dead ahead okay. that bad boy is dead ahead of us right there now that is dry land let's say you don't have that when I keep doing this stuff. Oh. Okay, so we're still lined up. Good, good. Oh, stupid shark. Please, really? Okay. We're pretty close to lined up there. Alright. So, you can see that's, uh, what, 1354 meters away? But you'll see the island far before you get to that that point. So we're going to, as though we have not received that radio broadcast yet, and we're going to strafe around this. I'm not turning the sub at all. I was just simply strafing around it. Slide left, right, and we're going to head about 1,350 meters out this direction.
and this is a pretty darn long trip. You can make it by swimming. You can make it using the sea glide. You do not need the sub to make it all the way out here. I'm just using the sub. Oh, ouch. Just a scratch. That'll buff out. Um, I'm using the sub just because it's helpful and faster. up here because we are looking for an island after all not something underwater and there and you are in incredibly deep water out here you're not going to hit anything underwater especially if you've got only the, the mark mark one upgrade or absolutely new upgrade you're not reaching the bottom in this sub There appears the first bit of the island. And let it fill in here. It takes a while to load stuff on the Xbox. Okay. And there is our floating island. Now they call it floating because it is literally floating. We can drive actually right underneath it here. Even in a sea moth without any upgrades. I mean, it's. I mean, sea moth no upgrades gets gets 200 meters. I mean, we are nowhere near that. Um, one of the best places to land is right here, this um, lagoon that's in the middle. Let's see, we're about 11:70. The dry land marker is way further inland, but the, the island itself is far closer. This... If I remember right, it's off this direction. There's one beach that you can land on. I prefer to go in the lagoon, however... Other people prefer a beach. They went the wrong way, because I usually don't use the beach myself. Let it load here. Still loading the cells. So still see floaty trees. Now, this is the island where you will be able to scan and get the multi-purpose room. You will be able to... Yeah, I knew I went the wrong way. Doggone it. <laughs> Should have gone the other way. Still loading island. Um, you will be able to get the multi-purpose room, the observatory, the spotlight for your base. You will also get the outside grow bed. You will get the inside grow bed. There's the beach for that a lot of people like. I, like I said, I don't... I would have been when you hit the island and go right instead of left. Oops. Um, so we hit, found the island right over there. Um, so you want to go, go right or uh, toward the southwest to find the beach. Wait, um, you get the interior and exterior grow beds here. You get uh, into an, an interior uh, small round pot. Uh, you will get the stasis rifle. Um, I've always found two parts of the stasis rifle here. And most importantly, you will find food plant in those beds, and I will show you what to look for. So right up the beach here, work our way up, jump, 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 jump. Oh, there's one, 
you'll need a bulbo tree. And make very sure you bring your knife with you. You can whack the tree. And you will get an edible item that yields a little bit more water than food. Um, you can plant this item. Don't eat it uh, unless you actually need the food right now. I mean, you can whack the tree multiple times and get them and consume them. But save one. Save one for the trip home. Can't stress that important fact. You need one to bring with you. There's lots of scannable stuff out here. I'm not going to tour the whole island. Uh, it's too big. Um, I, and I wanted to make this a, a fairly quick uh, stream. But you will find three settlements on the island. You will find one that's in a valley between the two mountains, and you will find one on each of the two highest peaks on the island. And you can see one that's up there. That's, in fact, that's the one, um, I believe that's the one with the stasis rifle, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the other one is on other peak at the opposite end of the island. You can't see it from here. Um, here is the lagoon that you saw from underwater down here. More bulbo trees. Um, I really wish you could grow these blue, blue glowy, glowy ones, but unfortunately, they're not. They're not plantable. They're not scannable. Um, these guys are scannable. You can get edible mushrooms and stuff out here to, to grow as well. Uh, which way am I going? So like I, said, I don't normally enter the island from this direction, so I'm a little turned around from my favorite paths. Just if I got I got the load, I got far enough. And the other um, base is at the top of that island there. Or I'm sorry, uh, at the other the top of that other um, um, mountain. Let's see, I don't think we can get up here. Nope. I am so lost. I don't normally land on that bridge. I mean, I probably should have. Because I know where everything is from that direction. And there is a secret on this island. I won't oil that for you. It has to do with the um, underground, the, um, the story, it's underground, so it's not too terribly hard to hide it from you here, because I'm not going to go down in the ground. So as you can see, um, a lot of people have trouble finding their way up these these mountains. So basically you just want to follow these these dirt trails. I'm not gonna go all the way up there. I'll let you find it on your own. Um, you follow the dirt trails um, up and around huh? and I head around normally I would go through that cave and I think off is that way yep. Head back. In this direction I see another item. Okay, here's the middle of the three bases. And uh, I'll warn you ahead of time, it's got little cave spiders. They won't kill you, but they do hurt. I mean, you whack them with a knife and you 
eventually they die. I think I've killed them all. But the um, this planter here, and this guy right here, this marble melon, um, that's what I've been eating in um, my streams so far. This is the guy that you want to pick up, and you want to take at least one of these home. You also want to scan, make sure that you don't forget to scan this container so you can build the outdoor beds to plant things in in your base. Um, also, don't miss the spotlight. There's one there. And where was that other one? Was, well, maybe it was at the other one of the other bases, but there was one over a door. Um, the stasis rifle you will find in here. I think it was laying right over here for me. This is, you'll need two pieces for the stasis rifle, but you'll find both parts out here. Now, in, uh, in my base uh, building video, I was talking about the interior bulkheads. This door, scan it. That will give you the bulkheads. Okay. Grab the leafy panel. You'll have uh, a data here, I believe, for the ultraglide fins, if I'm not mistaken. And you want to scan this room right here, the, the, the room itself, not things in it, but the room itself. And that will give you this multi-purpose, this big multi-purpose room. And that will be your, your main core component, uh, probably from then on. And then the other bases, uh, the other base that's up on the hill, the one sticking out there, you can see it right here. My cursor's over it right there, and I'll move it down so you can see it. That's the other, one of the other of the three bases. And that will give you the observatory room. And that light, by the way, is this guy right here, spotlight. Hang that over a door, and it will uh, put a searchlight. And if anything swims by, it'll lock onto it and follow it. Um, so you want that. You want the um, the, uh, the bulbo tree. And the other one that you want to grab is the lantern fruit while you're here. As you can see, that gives uh, 10 food and only 3 health. The bulbo, well, uh, you know what, let me go get that melon so I can show you all three at the same time. Here we go. Uh, uh oh, decomposing bulbo sample. Um, let's drop that, we'll go get a fresh one. Um, oh shoot, that was just the small melon. Yikes, it's okay, it still plants. Um, Also in that planter was um, some purple uh, Chinese potatoes, but I, I really didn't find much use for them. So lantern fruit, really? That was starting to degrade. This stuff degrades in this game so freaking fast. There we go. So we got 10 and 3, and then 7 and 9. So the bubble tree gives you more water than food. The and I'll show you the marble melon when I get back home. I don't think there's another sample out here. I think I, I picked them all up and took them home. Yep, I did. I don't think there's any other samples laying around out here. There's a, a on a, on a beach, I think it's on that that side of the island, I think. There's three of these planters, or is there four of them? I don't remember. Um, that contains more of the um, melons and potatoes. Um, however, you only need one sample to bring back. And don't worry, 
they are absolutely positively going to spoil before you get them home. Wait a minute, where did I park? Oh, cripes, I lost myself. Uh, I swear I parked on that side of the island. Oh, there he is, way over there. You know what, we'll swim it. Splashy, splashy. Okay. Motor, motor boat around here. So there's another... Is it uh, three or four planters together? That is not one of the three bases. So don't count that as one of the, one of the bases. There's two on the mountaintops, and then that one in the valley that I just took you to. You want to go to all three. And those are the basic important pieces that you need to bring off this island. The, uh, the melon, the bulbo tree, and the lantern fruit. Make sure you scan. I think it's in the observatory with without the... Uh, it's in the base without the observatory. Um, there's small uh, round planters inside the base. Make sure you scan the planter itself so you can make the planter. In fact, let me hop, hop out. And and that will be this planter here, the basic plant pot. Uh, this one and this one, I believe this one came out of the Aurora. This one came out of a wreck. This also came out of the Aurora. This is the indoor grow bed that is inside that observatory room at that in the inside that base, that the glass room. This is inside it. Make sure you get the indoor grow bed as well. That's in the room. Then scan the room itself. And there's a fern and a couple other plants, decorative plants, non non food value. You can bring those back if you wish. But this guy right here and the melon We'll let you stop chasing fish. Because I got so tired of chasing fish. 1,200 meters out, you'll find the island. Oh, I wanted to, while I was here, I wanted to turn that marker back on so you can see. Since we're here, that rendezvous point is up underneath here, inside that little lagoon that I, that I, I normally land at. I like this lagoon um, because it's got a trail out um, that leads near near the near that um, center base, uh, and then you can head up to the other large bases from there. But your uh, rendezvous point. Oh, really? So roll mode. The rendezvous point is right here on the on the beach. And again, this island is reachable swimming. It is reachable with the sea glide. It just takes longer with the sea glide and even longer swimming. But you can get there. Do not need the sub. And do not forget your knife, because you can't uh, whack the bobo tree to get a sample off of it without the knife. Put her along here, back to base. way. And by the way, that other marker over here is the tail end of the Aurora. And with those two, since you have three points
points of reference where you are, and then two source pieces, I can find my find my way around the planet without using the um, coordinates console. Which I do use sometimes. Not very often, but sometimes. Oh, floaty. Boy, the load lagging on the Xbox is pretty bad. And I've seen videos of this game on the PC, and the load 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 time is far faster than it is on Xbox. And I'm playing on an Xbox One S, so it's not a One X. Oh, and if you're going to take your sub out there, make sure it's fully charged. I've got an ion cell in here, which is, I think it's five or six times larger than a standard power cell. Um, and you'll eat up a power cell going out there. Uh, so make sure you got your sub charged before you head out. Okay. I hate... I built this base before I knew the orientation of those moon pools. Frustrating as all get out. Okay. I'm sure you've seen me, if you've watched any of my other streams, these are the marble melons that I use. I'm going to throw these in the recycle bin, because I've already got them here. Don't need them. And, there's, and they've already getting old. And the fruit, the food value is declining in them already. These planters, you can plant four marble melon seeds. So if you whack a watermelon, a marble melon while you're out on the island, you will get four seeds. And it consumes the same amount of it. So each time that you whack one of the seeds with your knife, or the marble melons with your knife, you will get four seeds. Here, I'll show you. Whack one, and you see I picked up four seeds. So now I melons out of that planter. As you can see, they're two by two, so four slots and four seeds. So it's the same whether you bring back a whole melon or four seeds. Same amount of inventory. You eat the marble melons, and then immediately press uh, plant the seeds. That will give you infinite food. Three of these will bring you back from almost depleted. You will need uh, four planters uh, to bring you back to 100% from actual uh, starvation or actual dehydration. I mean zero on your bars and taking damage. So I'm going to grab and backups, and I always keep a, a backup uh, set of seeds in here. So I'm going to pick up one uh, marble melon and replant the seed. And we'll go get up the stairs. And we'll go upstairs where I've got my planters. And I can, you can see here melon and bobo tree. Now you can compare all of them. So we get marble melon, 12 and 14, 8 and 10 for the bobo, and 10 and 3 for the lantern fruit. So you can see why I favor the marble melon over fish, because you have to, have to chase the fish. And these other uh, foods don't yield as much food as the marble melon. So I tend to go for the marble melon. I mean, I, I plant, uh, obviously, I, I planted them here and I keep them here. And then on my sub, um, and by the way, I did bring back, um, this is the fern that you'll find inside the observatory uh, base. Um, and if you whack it with a knife, you'll get plants you can bring back, these you can bring back, and these you can bring back. And then, once I go downstairs, let's see, out in the hallway, I forgot which hallway I stuck it in.
Um, there's a marble melon, a couple of the pink flowers, and the pink mushroom, uh, which also come from the island and in the standard planter pot. Let's get rid of those samples. Since we don't need them, I prefer the, the melons themselves. Um, and here, I'll show you. I should have gone out the back door. That's okay. And I'll and I'll show the my my sub layout um, a little more in depth in a in another stream. So I want to do that. Welcome up to uh, the captain. All systems yeah. online. Stream that doesn't have spoilers. Okay, so here we are inside. As you can see, I have a lantern, and behind the door, I planted a bobo tree is four planters with marble melons. So when I'm piloting this sub, I can stay away from my main base absolutely forever. And yes, I put a bed in here so I can sleep and make it day. So I'll use the marble melons when I'm depleted. And since the tree itself stays growing, and you can pick all this fruit off of here and it will regrow. And I tend to use this for a quick top off if I don't, if I just need a little hit, uh, so I don't waste um, the marble melons. And again, these lantern fruit uh, will grow back on the tree uh, continuously. I don't have the um, the Chinese potato planted because I didn't find it very useful. Uh, you can pick the potato several times off there, but then you have to replant it, and it didn't yield as much food value as I had hoped, so I didn't bother even planting. I put some in a in a storage bin. I think I put it upstairs in the fruit room, maybe. Yeah. So, you got a Chinese potato, and yes, it's rotten. Doesn't matter, you can still plant it. It will still grow. You just can't eat it. So I keep uh, backup samples of everything in this locker, just in case I pick it too much. And um, lose it. So I've always got a backup. So, all right. Um, that's how you find the, the island. And bring back plants to decorate your interior environment, get you pots that you can plant them in, and in my personal opinion, this right here is the best food in the game. You Once you build planters of these, you won't need to chase a fish, except if you need, um, oops, um, except, and I do keep a fish in here, except if you need to because these plants will spoil after you pick them. You cannot cure the plants. There is no recipe in the fabricator for anything uh, cured for the plants. I mean, it's, it's, this is all fish. So they do not, repeat, do not make a good travel food because they rot very quickly. So if you're away from your base for extended periods, periods of times, you know, chase your fish, um, cure your fish with salt, and that doesn't spoil. You can also um, loot uh, quite a few nutrient blocks uh, on the Aurora once you go inside. They are limited supply. There's only so many of them in the game, and there's no way to produce any more. So use them prudently. Um, I tend to use the the peepers um, with um, for food until I get out to the outer reefs to find the Reginald. Um, oops. Let me see if I've got. I honestly don't remember if. Reginald, there he is. So 
you want to look for this this little guy um, for for easily easily catchable foods he's your go-to in fact um, since we're on the subject of food drop down to my lower tank if you have an alien containment you put two Reginalds in here and they will breed until the tank gets full I think it's ten it will hold ten let's grab one of these guys they're, they're way easier to catch in here trust me <laughs> let's grab one we'll go back up and salt it and I'll show you the I mean, it, you can eat him as is. I mean, he'll, he'll give you 16, but he, he reduces your um, water by, t by 10. Why did I go that direction? That was dumb. Took the long trip. Let's grab salt. Well, I'll cure that right quick. He keeps, he won't spoil. Now he gives you 44 food, which is uh, a little more than half of one of your new um, water by two. So you bring on, bring along a couple of, a couple of him and a couple of bottles of water, and you're good for a considerable long time uh, away from your base. But he is not in the shallows here. You have to get away from the shallows uh, a little further out to to find him. Anyway, that's it. Um, that's the end of this stream. Um, uh, I'll, I'll cover my um, mobile base Cyclops setup uh, in another stream that does not um, contain spoilers for those who don't want um, to have spoilers in their game. All right, thanks for watching.